Hey everybody, it's Ryan Saplin here, Fat Loss Strength Coach, coming to you today with a video about hip pain, hip stretches, hip pain stretches, hip pain exercises to help relieve problems in the hip area. And what we're going to talk about today is really trying to target that main issue of the hip flexor. Um, Something that you may have seen in my video before and other videos you've seen is being able to stretch out the TFL out here, the quad, uh, rectus femoris, and then the psoas and a lot of the other tissues of the adductors that attach into the pelvis. Now, what I'm going to actually show you today is a way to sort of release that muscle while improving glute function. Now, but well, let's get on with the stretch, let's get on with the movement. So to solve hip pain, to get problems here in the hip, what we want to focus on doing is making sure that we active, we want to make sure the pelvis is in the right position and we want to make sure our glute is activated. So let me just show you that real quick from this side. You go into a lunge position. Now, typically what you've seen when people is they'll stretch or maybe they'll even put their foot on something against the wall to exaggerate the hip flexor. But what we're going to do today is something a little bit different. What you're going to do is you're going to sort of lean forward onto this knee. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this pelvis forward and really try your best. I'll put this back foot down. You're going to rotate this pelvis forward and really activate this glute as tight as you can. And then from this position here, so now I'm sort of, I'm leaning forward. My knee's on the ground. My pelvis is tilted posterior tilt is what it's called. Rotating the, so instead of being here, I'm rotating the pelvis forward like this. And you might actually feel a stretch already from there. But we're going to take it a step further and contract this glute as hard as we can. And then suck in our abdomen, tightening your abs. Then what we're going to do as we contract this right glute here, we're going to push this hip forward just a little bit. But more importantly, keep this glute contracted as we lift our body without moving the pelvis. So you want to keep this steady. Don't move this. And then push your body back and just really open up and really contract. That way you can get that psoas. You can tilt to the opposite side. So I'm on my right knee, so I'm tilting to the left. Just opening up that hip and just really feel that. Contract this muscle. That's probably the most important thing is really contracting this muscle as hard as you possibly can, your butt. Because a lot of time people will get a hamstring cramp. That's because the glute is not firing correctly. That is one of the main reasons why people have hip pain is because the glutes aren't firing properly and we end up using more of our other musculature to compensate. So, want to hold for about 30 to 60 seconds. I uh, hope you find this stretch helpful. If you want to sign up for that strategy guide, there'll be a link up here for you to click on. Um, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, or if you want, you can email me at ryan at ryansaplin.com. Thanks for watching, and this is Ryan Saplin, Fat Loss Strength Coach, signing off. I'll see you guys later.